Straight skills. Yeah, it's on it. I go the whole nine and don't hold back. Only phony flex with a Kodak. When it's so time, I get more back. So I yellow bone, put it, give me bow dag. Yeah, she like all of my rhymes, she let me know. She want all of my time and she let me know. But I don't wanna lie, so I let them know. Baby girl, I won't fly, no, you know. Yeah, know you want me for the wrong things. Probably cause you see a toggle top ting. And probably cause your man be a flop ting. Probably make you wanna have my offspring. Don't clock in, I'm big bossing. Who's knocking? Them big face Franklins. Big rich, smart moves, big profit. Way too many mushrooms. All night in it, yeah. I like it. Welcome to another episode of the Back of the Class podcast. My name is Will. Joining me today is the brother Lou. What up? The Black Bear. We got Ards in the house. Jay Fano. And we got our brother Junior. Talofa, Talofa. Yeah. Tiger number 247. And Rooster 1217. <laughs> 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 sorry bro, I can't control them <laughs> Sorry bro, sorry, sorry First of all bro, how are you? Nah, good, thank you That's good to hear bro, thanks for coming on Taking some time out to come kick it with the boys Nah, thanks for having me Nah, that's cool man um, If you can, if you can introduce yourself however you see fit Um, So everyone calls me Junior Ponga But um, my full name is Fitalanga Junior Ponga um, reason being, I'm um, called Junior Pong is because um, everyone can't pronounce my first name, so I just say call me Junior. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> it's, the, yeah. it's the story of every islander. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nah. Um, name after my dad. So. Oh, yeah. yeah. Cool. So, is, um, oh, we'll get into your background. We'll tell us about your background, your upbringing, your mum and dad. Um, both my parents are um, from Samoa. My mum's from Leovaa, um, Tuanai, and Falakai. And my dad's from Savai, Savai Kia. Mean. Gee, we might be related. <laughs> and um nah, um so I was born um in Middlemore Hospital, um, Auckland, but moved to Samoa when I was five, so pretty much like my childhood. Um I grew up like most of my childhood there. Oh me. Um didn't move back to New Zealand until I was seventeen, sixteen. Yeah. Wow. And you done your did you do any schooling in New Zealand? Yeah, I went the first year when we when we moved back to New Zealand, um, 2012, I went to Sir Edmund Hillary in Otar, and then after that year, um, moved out west and went to Kelston Boys and finished off my schooling there. Kelston Boys. Oh, so you done all your high schooling in New Zealand? Yeah, done most of my schooling there, but I did year nine and ten in Samoa. Went to Wesley oh, College. Yeah. True. Yeah. <laughs> what's, what's, what, what's that like? What's the difference? Um, like from New Samoa. Yeah, from Samoa and New Zealand. Like, what are what are like some of the big differences you can you remember just off your head? Um, I got some mad hidings in Samoa, eh? like from students. Nah, from the teacher and the students. Oh, oh like true. Um, intermediate, like it's just a teacher. Um, my first two years in high school was like all like the year thirteens and the teachers. Fuck. Yeah, <laughs> nah, it's pretty hectic. What what was that from? Just like. Um, just from um from being like just naughty in class. Oh, or, like, true. Being a good boy, eh? <laughs> <laughs> or like um, if you didn't do your like your your homework, you go like to school and they checked and out of nowhere, just like give you a mad smack, eh? I get worse. Um, some of the hidings are worse at school than at home. Yeah, true. Holy, yeah. you can't can't keep blaming that same dog eating your homework. <laughs> eh? <laughs> I call my dad. I just got a hiding from the teacher. Come get him now. <laughs> I wonder how that would feel. Like, did your parents ever say what, how it feels for them to hear like, you know, your child's getting smacked at school, or whatever? Um, I think that's like one of the main reasons why they want us to like they wanted us to go back to Samoa. Um, um, like the discipline. Mm-hmm. Um, obviously, as like there's always a reason behind like the hidings that you get. Like, obviously, it's not because they're just giving your hidings. Like, that's like discipline to them. Uh, that's like that's standard the way like you know when um <coughs> your parents and they used to always tell a teacher to hey hey if my son gets out of line yeah give him a hiding they're like no 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 and nobody ever got fucked up for being good eh? no <laughs> <laughs> so is uh just you um I have 
an older sister and a younger brother. So it's just three of us. Oh, and then when did you guys move to Oz? Um, <clears throat> so I moved to Samoa when I was five, and I didn't move back to New Zealand until I was 16. So like 10 or 11 years in Samoa, and then, yeah. And then you moved here to Oz? And then moved to Oz 2019, I think, to Brisbane. And then Go Brisbane From Brisbane to Sydney <laughs> You should have went to the Broncos bro But they didn't even want me <laughs> <laughs> So take us take us through your So you, you moved back from You moved back to New Zealand from Samoa Tell us about your, mm. your junior footy You played footy in, um, in Auckland I didn't really play footy in Samoa Like there wasn't much opportunity over there mm. um, And um when my parents decided to move back to New Zealand, I didn't want to like move back because I was so comfortable with my life there. And then um, when my dad was like, "Oh, if you wanna, if you wanna," because I always had a passion for like any sport, and I I always like wanted to play like footy. And he was like, um, "If you wanna go to New, if you go to New Zealand, um, you get the chance to play footy, and you might make the All Blacks." And I was like, straight away, I was convinced there. Yeah. I was like, "Yo, I'm moving." So moved to New Zealand. Um, I think I went to Sir Edmund Hillary, joined the rugby team there, um, did one training, and then I got a name in the team. I think it was under 16s to come off the bench, and then come off the bench, and then five minutes to the, into the game, I broke my leg. Oh, and shit. I was out for that whole year. But um, junior footy, uh, after that, after that year, I joined up with um, my Glenora Bears. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, West, yeah, and that's where it's just kicked on from there. Oh, true. Yeah. Did you play any rep footy there? Um, didn't really make. Oh, I didn't really make any um rep teams in New Zealand. Like, obviously, um, I tried to, but never got picked. Mm. Glenora, what year were they? Were they? Well, uh, what what years were you at Glenora? Um, I played under seventeens, under eighteens, and then I played Warriors twenties after that. Oh, you play Warriors 20s? Yeah, I came through like their system like properly. Mm. Well, um, when you're at the Warriors, what made you <clears> leave there? Was it just... So I did all my junior footy at um, Glenora and then got assigned to Warriors. So I played 20s for two years and then <clears throat> after the last year of my contract, because I was 21 the following year, um, they offered me to stay back. And um, so I took it full time. Then my first full time season with um, the Warriors towards the back end of the season, I did my ACL, so I was pretty much out that following year, and then sort of just come back towards the back end, and obviously it wasn't enough, and they were happy to let me go. So what? And then like from <coughs> there, did you you got let go from there? Did you come over to Australia after that? Yeah. So when they let me go, my manager gave me a phone call and just said, "Ah, uh, look." Um, we got nothing for you at the moment, but um, if you want to move over to Australia, um, Wyndham Seagulls are keen to have you, and um, if you want to have a crack there and, and go from there. Mm. Was it was it Q Cup? Yeah, Q Cup. Oh, so so it's not like you were playing like a like club level footy again. Like you were still playing really yeah. good competition. Yeah, you? nah, yeah, I was lucky. Um, yeah, they got me over. Um, I met some great people there, and yeah, went on from there. Take us back to your your broken leg. Oh. Uh, um <clears throat> yeah, like I said, um went to join I went to Hillary College first week, um joined rugby team. Um I think I was sixteen. Um played that weekend. I just come off the bench, the coaches put me on. And do you know how like when someone gets tackled and you go like bridge? Mm. I went to bridge. Both oh, my union. Feet on. Yeah, rugby union. Yeah. Union. Oh yeah. yeah. And then um someone just like swing around and just like landed on my leg and I just felt like a ma- like massive snap eh? Was it shin? Uh, it was like, uh, it was like I just felt all this weight on my femur, just like. So you broken femur? Yeah, I broke my femur. Yeah, broke your femur. <clears throat> ACL, and ACL, think? ACL. Um, at twenty when I was twenty one, and then. So that's uh, within five ruptured. years, four, four, five years. Yeah, ruptured my MCL twenty two. Fuck. Okay, so take us to twenty twenty two. How? how that I was playing. So when I got let go from the Warriors, um. Just after coming back from my ACL, joined Wyndham. Um, played like 10 games into that season. And uh, I still remember um, it was against North Devils. And I took a 
a run and I sort of made like a little half break and um, Herbie Funworth was coming across and he sort of just grabbed me from the back and he swung around and just like, I wasn't a hip drop, but I just like swung around and just like fell on my leg and I just felt like a It pop. was a hip droppy. Yeah. That was a hippie. It was a fucking <laughs> hip like drop. It was a hippie. <laughs> <laughs> nah, so your patient zero for <laughs> hip drops. <laughs> he just swung around and just like landed on my knee and I just felt like the same feeling um, that I felt when I did my ACL. So went for scans and um, the, the doctor just told me, oh, like I had a meeting with him and he just said, oh, um, luckily, luckily it's not your ACL, but um, it's your MCL, so we need to have surgery on it. All the same leg? All on the same leg. Oh, yeah. So I've done, yeah. If I've had like a few surgery on the same leg. Well, what was what was like pain wise? What was the worst? Femur? Yeah, my broken femur probably the worst because I remember doing it, and um, at the game they didn't have any, um, they didn't have the ambulance or anything, and um, my dad had to put me in the car and drive me to the hospital, and I couldn't like, I couldn't bend my knee, and I had to like, my dad was like, if you want me to take you to the hospital, you had to bend your knee. So I was like. So I had to bend my knee and it was like sore as in the car. Went to the hospital and just went on from there. The femur is the thigh bone, right? Yeah. The strongest, uh, the biggest bone in your body, I think. Yeah. I've never really heard anyone break the femur, so it must have been No, nah, it was pretty painful. Pretty bad. Yeah. yeah, so I was out for the whole year. Um, ACR was nine months and my MCR was 14 weeks, I think. Oh, right. Bro, that's like, that's great. Like how... Like your mind in that during this whole time, what what was it like? What 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 kept pushing you to, to like um I guess chase your dreams that like with all the injuries and stuff it feels like you're going up, bang down, up, down. Like what what kept fueling you to, to keep pushing through? I think um, like, once I started playing footy and I sort of realized I was like good at it. Mm. Um, like I always like tell myself that. Whatever adversity comes my way, I will never give up. Wow. That's crazy, bro. Because I put so much time into chasing this dream. If I give up now, then this is just like the waste of yeah, my yeah, years, yeah. like working towards something and then just giving What up. was it all for, eh? It's that yeah. saying, hey, you would, like, you don't come this far to only come this far. Yeah, mm. you know, yeah like, that's true. Especially when, when footy was your intensive to, to, to leave Samoa, ultimately, yeah. Because you mm. were saying how you got comfortable, didn't want to leave. Intensive or incentive? Incentive. <laughs> Somebody's about to go to intensive <laughs> <laughs> Incentive <coughs> So from How did you end up at West Tigers? Um, so my last year After the COVID year um, The one where Queensland Cup got cancelled the whole year I was like um, They had no footy So I then Played that year for Cup So I just went and played for Like a local team mm. And win them And um, I think we ended up winning the comp that year, and then the, the following year, um, we had a good preseason, and then heading into the season, so we won the first four games, and um, yeah, it was like, I don't know where my manager rang me, and he was like, oh, um, the West Tigers are pretty keen to have you, and I'm not too sure like when, but I'll get back to you, because I, I was at the time like I wasn't full time footy over there, it was like part time. I was at work and then I was like, oh, sweet. They didn't like think too much about it. And then went to work the next day and he rang me and he was like, are you ready to go? And then I was like, oh, what do you mean? And he was like, oh, they're going to bring you over today. So, um, yeah, on that day, I literally had to tell my boss, like, oh, like. I quit. <laughs> like, yeah, pretty much. Like, I went up to him. I'm like, oh, I think I'm going to go to the West Tigers. He's like, are you serious? I was like, yeah, yeah. And then, like, obviously, like, he was saying congratulations and that and he was happy as for me, so. Quit work that day, went home quickly, packed my bags, and then jump on the plane, and then flew to Sydney. Wow! Fuck did, did off of them just telling you that yeah, you're gonna yeah. So was uh, there like a guarantee though? They the recruitment manager at the time rang me and he was like, "Oh look, um, we're not gonna guarantee you like you playing NRL, but we're gonna give you six weeks to come here and have a crack and then go from there." And like, this is what I always wanted to do. Like, ever since like I started playing league, like. Um, I always tell myself um, all I need is to get my foot in the door and mm -hmm. I just let the work do, do the talking sort of thing. Mad. And, and you, then... Hey. Listen to that, kids. <laughs> hey? <laughs> you got a dream chaser, bro. <laughs> How old are you? This guy. 27 now. Man, good on you. Yeah, and then, um, yeah, I moved, moved to Sydney. Did you move here by yourself? Yeah. Obviously, I have family here, but um, um, the Tigers put me in a house, like the Tigers house with like all the young boys. And uh, my first week at training, I got injured again. Like, oh, 
big we, one. We did like a little um, rolling rock, and um, I took a carry, and um, James Tamo tackled me and like um, landed on my ankle. So it was like soon as Moses. So Cindy. it was like the old Cindy. Yeah, so I was out for like two weeks, but I was stressing because they only got me here for six weeks, and I was like, bro, they're gonna send me back. And then the coach just pulled me in the office. He was like, oh, just uh, focus on your rehab. Well, extend your six weeks. Um, I want to see you play. Um, oh, man. Played five um, cup games. And then, um, yeah, lo- um, yeah, crazy how, like, going from getting injured to, like, getting told that um, get your, your, like, your injury right and coming back and play and then, like, got the name to make my debut. What, what, <laughs> what leg was this? Same, the same, same one, one. The same one yeah. Yeah. Was it your left your Yeah my left leg Damn you lefty <laughs> <laughs> So do they, they have like a tattoo Or, on, or something on there That nah. people don't like And they're just trying to type it <laughs> Nah Bro what What were the emotions like Leading up to your Bro this kid from Samoa Moves to New Zealand Breaks his femur Does his knee twice All on the same leg Moves to Australia with a, On a chance yep. Gets caught to his Tigers Flies out same day Five weeks later, gets told, or he gets injured again. Five weeks after that, gets told he's making his debut. Fuck, there's got to be like a. No, it's pretty um pretty crazy, eh? Like, um, like I didn't even know I was gonna like make my debut. It was like went into the meeting room and the coach sort of just like started naming the team and my name popped up, and all the boys are like jumping in, and I was like I was happy as and like. It didn't really like get me at the time. Mm. Not until like that day we finished training and I went home and just like sat in my room and started like thinking about all the stuff that I had to go through just to get to where I want to be. Like, mm. and um, rang my mom straight away. Um, told her she was happy as my siblings. Rang my sister. She started crying. Um, I still didn't like. I feel like crying. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I still didn't like. It still got, didn't like. Got goosebumps. <laughs> it, it still didn't hit me like right up until game day. But like, um, like I forgot to like mention my um. So my dad passed away the same mm-hmm. year I broke my femur. Um, he got cancer the same year. Like we moved to New Zealand, so like all those things sort of just come together. Like I was sitting in my room and I was like, like, like I wish my dad was like here to see. Like, yeah, yeah. Um, he's never seen me like his last memory of me of him seeing me play was when I broke my leg. Like imagine like the smile on his face if like if I got to tell him that like yeah. Him, I'm making my NRL debut, like, yeah, pretty crazy. I believe he's smiling, bro. He smiled yeah, that day, bro. What a crack. Take us story. through your emotions on that day you're going to debut. Was it, was there anything, like, specific you remember? Um, So, that same week, um, we got told that we're going to the bubble in Brisbane. Um, So, I was lucky enough, my family already moved to Brisbane, and I was pretty excited, and... The whole week was, um, it was a good week. Um, right up till game day, I was like, I got ready and I was keen as, packed my boots and I was just like, five minutes before I went down in the team room, like all this emotion started like hitting me. I started like crying. I rang my mom and I, she was like, answer the phone, she's like, son, I'm on my way to the game. And um, and she's like, looked at me and she's like, why are you crying? And I was like, oh, like, I worked so hard to get here and like, I can't wait to like go out there and like make you guys proud. That's me, me. Wow. What a story. Especially us. Like, it probably hits more home for us too because we only just lost our dad in April. April. Yeah, sorry to hear. Yeah. No, so, like, you know, obviously, like, you know, hearing you, you lost your dad and then all that to happen in the same year. It's pretty crazy. Mm. Well, what was it like running out first time? Family. <coughs> oh, no. Were they allowed to come watch? Yeah. In yeah. the bubble? Like, they were allowed to come watch, but we couldn't, like, go see them. Yeah. Again, oh, yeah. okay. No, I was pretty, pretty, pretty crazy, eh? Like, everything that I dreamed of, like, actually come to life. Yeah. Something that I've, like, always, like, it's like a vision of mine that I, like, I had for a very long time. And when it came into life, I was, like, I was, like, probably, like, one of the best feelings. But then, like, seeing, like, my family get to see yeah. me ach- achieve something that I've been working towards, like, for a very long time was, like, a special feeling. Like that's crazy. Any anything specific you remember about that game? Like your first hit up, first tackle. <clears throat> um, I remember taking my first carry, um, and I was just like, "Damn, I'm like playing like NRL," and it was against the Broncos. Like I was running, 
I f- my first, I'm pretty sure, like, my first carry, I ran through the middle, and Payne Haas tackled me, and I was buzzing, eh? I was like, bro, you can't believe he just touched me, like, <laughs> it was like, wow. So, made it. It. yeah, like, <laughs> especially in the short span, like, say you, 2022, and you debuted that same year? Oh, no, sorry. 20, bubble, bubble was 2021. Yeah, 22, yeah, 22. Oh, 22. Yeah. oh wait. 21. 21 was the bubble way? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. 21, 21, was 21 yeah, yeah, 21. We're all locked down here. Yeah, 21. Yeah, but yeah. Ha- it sounds like it happened so fast. Yeah, like everything will sound like a quick turnaround. Yeah, no, nah, it was so like, I <laughs> like from, <laughs> from quitting my, my, my job to jumping on a plane, like, I had no idea, like, I, they gave me six weeks to, like, to prove myself and, like, to finally get there, like, it was like, and then moving to Queensland, it was like a busy week, so it was, like, hard to process because we're, like, always on the move. But then, like, when it finally happened and finally went back to the hotel and just sat down and just reflect on um, how everything went. And, um, yeah, nah, it's definitely something that, like, I'll never forget. Yeah, bro, I bet. I'll probably never forget this conversation. Bro, <laughs> like, or even your story, but that's... Even even your debut eh, against the Broncos at Suncorp, that's not a fucking easy game to play. Anyone, anyone at Suncorp. Or barring, there's no crowd, eh? Was there crowd? Nah, there was crowd. Oh, they yeah, they they were, so you just couldn't go yeah. touch, like, yeah. fist bump or anything. Five metres away, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's the one you're standing on the field, eh, and they're all standing behind you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Did you guys win that game? Yeah, we won. I think Shame. we won, like, <laughs> <laughs> I think we, like, won, like, 50-something. Oh, oh, yeah. Harry Grant played, eh? Huh? Was that when Harry Grant played for? No, 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 no. Is this Tigers? This is the year, I think that was the year before. Oh, yeah. Nah, Jax. Nah, Lou was getting his Jake ready. Yeah. I was getting my Jake ready. I was, I was, I was, I was. Did you score? Yeah, I scored a try. On, yeah. on, yeah, yeah, on my debut, oh, yeah. yeah. But um, 2021, we, we're just coming off the spoon, you know, like, <laughs> rebuild. <laughs> rebuild. <laughs> what, what was that like, to score a try, your debut? I was buzzing there. Um, yeah, so I remember, like, late in the second half, they put up, like, a bomb, and um, Kim Malmalu. He was good, already a good friend of mine. Um, like we were at Warriors together. Mm. So when I joined the Tigers and he came, like it was like still buzzing for me. And um, I seen him like sprint down and he jumped up and he got the ball and I was just pushing through the middle, and he just turned around and like just gave it to me and all I had to do is just put the ball down there. So when I got that, cause um someone tackled me and I was still like sliding on the ground, so I wasn't too sure it was like a try. But yeah. when they like confirmed that it was a try, I was like buzzing there. I could hear my family like singing from the crowd. Oh man! Like all the that boys, would, it was like that would crazy. Have been such a hype, eh? It was like, oh, I was like, crazy. That's it's growing on your day. Well, that's, you know, that's what we do in the Broncos, bro. We, <laughs> we make your dreams come true. <laughs> <laughs> we let you score. <laughs> <laughs> no, bro, that's a that's a crazy year for you. Even your journey up until that point. Um, Podcast, I've been up to this. something Caught you by surprise and see me coming Couldn't leave the game alone cause it's needing me Flexing on the wicked with no Jesus peace Took a couple L's but I get up without fail They see me doing really well and they don't want that I might fall down but I'm fall back Leave a message, I don't call back Have I seen her? Yeah, I saw that a Little disappointed cause it wasn't all that She felt a mention, you and I saw bad in my bed <laughs> Make a clap. <laughs> uh, sweet. We're back. Um, we back. With those so Fitzalanga? Yep. <clears throat> uh obviously your story already has been pretty crazy. But you said you had like a itching desire pretty much to play first grade. What what else? Drives you Because bro you, You've done your ACL Breaking, breaking your femur Your MCL And, and then Cindy. your Your Cindy All in the same ankle bro All the like, L's Like <laughs> You know a lot, a lot of people Would take that as signs Like you know To Pack it up Move on Find something new You 
held strong like you know you you had this desire that you would make it um in in football and then to debut what drives you bro um probably uh, my parents um obviously um growing up we didn't have much but um we were a happy family uh both mom and dad are farmers um most of, most of the time um my mom was overseas working and my dad was the one that looked after the kids back in Samoa and he he was the farmer back home and my mom was doing farm work in um Melbourne so just to see them get up every morning and not sort of complain of what they do and just giving us kids like um everything that we needed sort of drives me every day so that's like um it drives me every single day just even though that my dad's gone now and my mom's still alive um just like seeing them like never whinge or complain about anything but just getting up every day getting about their business and providing for for me and my siblings that's mean are you um what's what's the word like incentive no <laughs> intensively <laughs> no um do you are you a man of faith no nah, yeah i'm my family um a massive on that my mom my sister now um yeah uh, yeah i am oh that's mad right i i honestly <laughs> have like no words eh? like about your story like i'm still still almost got me i was trying to uh, work together uh i hope i'm just gonna Throw Jerry under the bus. Hi, Jerry. But he had uh, sent us a response uh, that you had texted him the other night um, when he was organising for you to come on. Um, and you had... I just wanted to say how powerful this message was. Um, now that we've heard your story, because in the in the message that Jerry showed us, he had only highlighted your injuries. Um, and you had said something along the lines of, um, God never gave up on me. And that was something that was like... That really stood out. And now, now we can see why you're so... Like hard working, why you never gave up that dream? Like every, everything starts to come together now. Like fucking hats off to you, bro. The uh, fucking man. I think um, like growing up, um, back in Samoa, was like every Sunday we had to go to church, and then we moved here. Um, my dad passed, and my mom, my sister, um, they always remind me every single day. Um, ever since I've been chasing my dream, just um, leave it to God. Um, pray every day. And just keep believing. Um, it'll come. Shout out, mum and sister, bro. No, they, they're my um, my queens. Mm. Uh, no misses yet. Nah, no misses. Still single. Hey, is that a, <laughs> is that a call or? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> just based on the footy. Yeah, yeah howdy, bro. Good on you, bro. You can find his digits around here. <laughs> yeah. I'd like to message him. Back, back to the footy then. So, so you do your time at West Tigers. And mid was it mid season transfer? Yeah, yeah. To the Roosters. Yeah. Uh, how, how did that come about? So I did that first year when I debuted at Tigers and then the second year they offered me another four year training trial. So I did that um last year. Um ended up playing two more games and then back towards the end of the season, um, they pretty much tell me that um I'm no longer needed at the club. Mm. And um so I moved back home off season, went back to work. And I had no idea what I was gonna do. Like I thought, like this is this is me. Like I was done. And then I was at work one day, and my manager rang me, and um, he said there's an opportunity, in um, in Sydney again for me, and it's to join the Bears, and they were gonna give me a six weeks training trial, like for the start of preseason. And um, I I told him straight away, yeah, I'll finish up work off season and I'll move back. And yeah. it just sort of like went on from there. So. There's six weeks uh, preseason of the Roosters ended up being did the first half of preseason and then I got told I'm coming back the second half and then wasn't too sure what was going on and um yeah I, I had like I always write down my goals for the year before the season start and one of my goals was to uh, do well in preseason um, learn as much as I can and heading into the season to try to play some consistent footy and um. Yeah, one, round 1 to 12, I think. Um, everything was going well. And when I, mean, I got the call up that um, that I was going to play for Roosters, um, that was pretty special to me too because when I, when I was, like, coming through, um, I used to watch, like, Joey Manu and that. Mm-hmm. Um, and the Roosters are a pretty good club. Like, 
it's a hard team to make and like for me to get a run there was like um definitely pretty special. Especially in your position eh, because they just like outside <clears> backs. <throat> yeah, they had they they've got like um like pretty mean outside backs. Stacked eh? Stacked. Super pretty stacked, yeah. Did they just sign Dom Young? Yeah, Dom Young next year, I think. And then you still got uh Swali E there. Mm. So um what what was the switch like? Like going from Tigers to Roosters, how's it been at the Roosters and like your time with obviously you said you wanted to soak up a lot of um whatever you could from and there's a lot of experience on that team, you know, like Teddy. I mean the whole team is just littered with career Yo. like professionals, you know what I mean? Full but representative have, sides that you yeah. know. What I mean? So what have you been able to take away from there? Um when I first joined, when I first walked in, um just see how passionate the whole club um I've heard that bro. about um about everything. Um not just on the field but off the field as well. But um like getting to to learn off like all the outside backs there, like Daniel Toops, um Joey Manu, Joseph Swali and all the other backs that are there. Um no nah, I felt like um like over the years that I like first from from when I first started till now, like I've learned a lot. Like from all the different clubs that I've been at but um, but joining the Roosters, um, like <clears throat> they're pretty sure for what they want. Um, and all I had to do was just keep proving every day, um, learn from the experienced guys, and yeah, um, just learn from there. How's the coach? I heard he's like the man, eh? <laughs> nah, he's the man, eh? Nah. How's it from your per- um, like your personal experience? Nah, he's been so good to me. Um, I think the week before my debut. He spoke about um, not many guys at my my age, twenty seven, would will keep going. Um, if I was in that dead in that situation, but um, I was never gonna give up, and um, I was always gonna keep trying, see how far I can go, and yeah, nah, grateful for him for giving me the opportunity. That's mean. Yeah, he's <laughs> right because you know, like, yeah, to, age is only just like getting younger. Eh? Like it feels yeah. like it gets younger every year. Yeah. Like, and like to get injured as well, like um, in my head I was like, oh, the older I get, like the window gets smaller. Mm, mm. So like you had to like sort of like stand out, stand out to like to be like in the team sort of thing. And you had main games, too. yeah, for Roosters. A, eh? I watched your first <coughs> game. Oh, true. For the Roosters, yeah. How many? How many tries did you score for them? Too many. Eh? Two. For Roosters, two. I think. And now you've just been playing at um, North Sydney. Yeah, North Sydney. Yeah, nah. Yeah, back at North Sydney now. Why, why is it? Oh, Jerry, you might be able to help. Why is it that Roosters have? Yeah, two a for like team, like a two as well. or something. I'm not but too. Sh- I'm not too sure, eh? but I think all the the young guys goes to Roosters, and then all like sort of the, all the experienced guys goes to Bears. Oh, okay. Yeah, because <clears throat> this is their first year, eh? Yeah, it's their the first Roosters. year. So, and you just played Roosters on the weekend? Yeah. <laughs> Bro, do you reckon that's the reason why is because they're going to make the Bears a, a NRL team? Ooh, this is big brain stuff, eh? Bang, bang. <laughs> <laughs> bang, bang. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what I mean? Because they're separating it, so the Roosters are going to have their own club, you know, like um, like cup team, and then Bears are eventually going to be the next NRL side. Hmm. Interesting. Now that you say it. Do, 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 do. <laughs> <laughs> do, do, do you guys train together? With the with the guys that played for Roosters? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so during the week, like all the full-time guys, we train together. And then we go back for captain's run. So it was like kind of weird, um, like playing against your mates. That you train yeah, with yeah. like every week and then like you have to play against each other. What was what, that like? Because we spoke to uh, Royce Hunt last week. And he was saying that over the Tour Samoa camp, um, they had obviously formed a good relationship within the team. But when he plays them for NRL, he said that they, he always like chucks in a little nose, <laughs> <laughs> like, like, nose like a little grabby move. Yeah, like is, is that something that you guys do? Um, now over the weekend, um, some of the boys are being cheeky, but um, nah. But then you guys won. He? He's yeah, a fucking yeah, mummy. Yeah, we won, so like, um, winning, winning. You can't, you can't, can't beat that. Is, is there any? Boys in that Roosters team that play in our 
Um, for Roosters or yeah, for Bears? For, for Roosters. Um, Jackson Bolo and um, Corey Allen. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. Jackson's and, and from you, where we're from. Oh, true. In Auckland, yeah. And you guys are going to be minor premiers, eh? Or you guys already are? I think we already are. And then Warriors are second, eh? Is it Warriors? So. I mean. Good heading into finals. What about international footy? Would you like, who would you like to play for? Um, I would love to represent Samoa. Um, just for my parents. Yeah. But, um, if the opportunity comes up as well for Kiwis, um, yeah, I'll take that as well. Yeah, that's me. Bro, it's just a ride around the corner, bro. With your with your perseverance and and um, fuck, I forgot the word. I was gonna say surveillance, <laughs> perseverance and um, resilience. <laughs> surveillance. <laughs> 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 fuck, it's just around the corner, bro. <laughs> no, your story is like amazing, bro. Like. It is really one of um, resiliency mm. and just sticking the path, bro. And you don't know how it's going to go, where it's going to go, just staying ready. Yeah, it was it was pretty crazy because, like, I always, like, sort of knew that, like, I wasn't too sure where it was taking me, but I was always sure of, like, how much work I'm putting in to try to get there. Mm. So, like, it's like just weird, like how it just like unfolds. But like, I always believe that like, um, if I work hard and keeping my face strong, um, everything will fall into place, and it did. And um, yeah, God is good. God is good. All the good, time, man. brother. All the time. Man, that's crazy. Yeah, because like, I don't, when when you're talking, I'm just sitting. There, I'm just like, man, this guy looks so like grounded eh mm. like nothing wavers you you know what i mean with all this stuff that's happened to you bro like um and you just keep persevering through that it's it's amazing man it's a and it's amazing um story for people to listen to i i honestly believe eh because like um like will said man like you know imagine all these things that come like but a lot of people would have just caught it quits move back to what what was um comfortable you know but you but you made the uncomfortable you're comfortable and um and it's paying dividends, man. Thank you. I think um I haven't um I haven't told many people, but um actually both my parents had cancer. Wow. Um I think that made me who I am today. Mm. Um, like you know, I can't complain about my life when my dad was fighting for his. Like mm. you know, like when he got told that um there's no way they could cure it. Like it was time and having to go through that, and then having to go through. Um, when my mom told me that she had cancer, that was hard too. So you know, like um, my life can't get hard. Like you know, like I've 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 already been through like the hardest, like the hardest, like seeing two people that I love go through something that um, like something so hard that like people die from that. Like you mm. know, so like yeah, like <clears throat> it's just like um, so. No, you're right. Um, sorry, brother. You're yeah, right. like just like seeing like. People take their life for granted and waste it, waste their energy on like things that they shouldn't be wasting on. And like I, I, I had a goal, and to see my parents go through that uh, made me realize that um, I got to take life serious and um, realize what I wanted to do in life and just go after it. Amen, man. It's beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> All right, if, like you know, if anyone watches this, they should take that as a sign to you know call your mum. Call your dad, you know, just, you just never know, bro, you know, time is, um, tomorrow's never promised. That's right, mm. bro. Bro, if you can, just look down that camera there, whatever f you feel like you should say, you know, whether it be um, some advice to someone coming through, you know, whether, you know, everyone faces hardship, you know, where it, whether it be, um, in their career life or, you know, personal life, uh, whatever you feel like you should, a message you should share to them, what would that be, bro? Um, I think for me, um, if you have a dream, um, just go after it. Um, no matter how long it takes, um, just keep persevering and um, have faith in God that he'll lead you um, in the right direction and um, just never give up. Fucking hell. That's mean, bro. 
We've never had a guest come on here and leave us speechless. Usually we're the ones just laughing and Yeah. But us thank you so man. much for um taking time out to come share your story, bro. Thank you thank you for having me. You know, we thought I don't know actually what we thought, but we didn't think it was gonna be this, bro. That was powerful. Make me wanna run through a brick wall. Hundred percent. Show us then. One behind <laughs> us. There's one behind <laughs> us. <laughs> Where are we gonna record next week? <laughs> um, and quickly shout out Apelu, bro. Yo, Will. <laughs> Master Will. He um. When we when we told him that we we're gonna start a podcast, he was one of the first ones to kind of. Say, oh yeah, let me know when he's ready to get a guest on, and I'll ask my cousin. And I was, who's your cousin? And he's like, oh, Junior Ponga. I was like, oh, I think he was playing with Jerry at the moment. He's like, yeah. I was like, oh, okay. So he's probably going to be watching this when he sees you on it and <laughs> fucking, he waits till the end. You get your shout out at the end, Will. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Junior said, who's that? <laughs> <laughs> nah. Uh, it was, wait, any more goals for the for the year? Or the career? <clears throat> um, I think my goals for the year um, is just keep um, improving, um, keep getting better every day. And um, yeah, hopefully um, the Bears go all the way. Um, mm. but yeah. At the I end of the day, bro, all you got to do is believe, eh? Yeah, nah, yeah. Mahi hard. Just keep believing. But Mahi strong. Um, the goal is um, going forward is just keep persevering, keep learning, and keep learning from the guys that um been at the Roosters for a very long time, and they've been doing a great job there. And um, hopefully... um. Everything goes well, get a starting spot and just maintain that every week, week in and week out. And I don't see why not, bro. Like, you've, you've done everything tough your whole life, bro. So, uh, with that attitude, bro. Well done to you, bro. Um, good luck for the rest of the year. Thanks, Uzo. Congrats on all your success already, bro. Mm. Thank you. Inspirational. And what's to come, eh? And what, um, there's plenty more to come, I'm sure of it. And please. We would like to have you back on here, man. Yeah, heard. You know what I mean? So, like, like we can celebrate with you, you know? Yep. And everyone That's else, cool. man. That'd be awesome. And to the parents, if you're watching this, man, make sure your kids get in on this episode because there's so much to take from this. There's plenty of material on, on here that you can um, teach your kids from as well. So, shout out to you, Uso. And like we all said, congrats on everything you've achieved so far. Thank you. I'm sure we are, we're, not, we're not finished yet. And, uh, yeah, hopefully see you on here again. Sounds good. Appreciate your time. Fitalanga Ponga, Junior Ponga, Tiger 247, Rusto 1217. Mouso. Thank you, bro. Thank you. Back of Class Podcast. We out.